guys. So, I am like really crossing my fingers that this is in focus. I'm pretty sure it's in focus. It looks like it's in focus. Um, yeah, looks like it's in focus. I'm pretty sure it is. But I lost my remote control for my camera, so I don't actually know 100%. That's super annoying. But today I'm doing a chit chat, like get ready with me, like talk through, run through, everyday makeup routine type thing. Sorry about the background. I'm in my new office. I'm like, uh, like still decorating. Like I know it's really boring and cream, and there are like pillows and stuff. I know it's not cute, but yeah. So. I am actually kind of doing this as I'm filming my morning routine, so if this setup looks familiar to you guys, I'm filming my morning routine, and that should be up already, or maybe it's going up after this. It'll be up soon, and I'll link it in the description. But I am literally rambling so much, so let's just get into it. What I've been using a lot recently is the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. <laughs> I left some coffee on the arm of the sofa, and Finn just decided to gulp that down. But I've been using the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. I've been using it instead of like a actual primer. I feel like it makes my skin like look better and like everything feels a little bit more weightless. Don't know why, but not sponsored by the way. I was sponsored for like one video, but this isn't sponsored. I've just still got the products and I use them. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using up my MAC. Studio Sculpt. I currently have two. This is like my winter shade. This is like my summer shade. But like my winter shade is now too light for me. I don't know why my skin has got darker, but it just has. Like I'm not wearing fake tan right now, and it's a little bit darker than it used to be. So I mix the two. Uh, this one's pretty much gone. So yes. Like it's like I don't know how I'm still using this. There's like hardly anything in here. Okay, so if things look slightly different, my memory card just like got full and I had to fix it. So, yeah. Just mix it on the back of my hand and then I have this big like paint splodge. This, like when I say like everyday makeup routine, I don't wear this every day. Like if I do my like everyday makeup routine, like if I do everything together, this is what it looks like if that makes sense. But like most days I don't really wear makeup, like honestly, like I work from home so I don't really feel the need to wear makeup um i only really wear makeup if i'm like feeling it or like i'm ill and i want to like make myself feel better but yeah i just use my beauty blender and just dab it on to my face i have a few spots right now because it was just that time of the month and personally i get breakouts after my period does anyone else get that that's how it works for me must work for someone else out there so yeah, I always get breakouts just after my period, which is so frustrating. Just leave me alone. Also, I put foundation down my neck because I don't want to be streaky or mismatched. So, yeah, and then I just use my beauty blender and just like, you know, how it works, just like tap it in. Um, yeah, I've decided that I want to make my videos like more casual and just like like this you know what I mean I also really want to start doing like conspiracy theory videos because I swear to god they are my absolute favorite videos me and my friend are up yeah so me and my friend used to like read conspiracy theories before we knew conspiracy theories were a thing like when we were 12 we'd like sit there like in school on the computer like reading about like all this like fucked up shit like government like behind the scenes stuff like aliens exist proof <laughs> like stuff like that um like before like um we like new conspiracy theories are a thing and like everybody spoke about them like yeah i love watching conspiracy theories i like research them all the time like i know so many so if you'd like to watch some conspiracy theories from me comment down below like please do because i really want to make these videos I think they're just like, I don't know, they're so fun and entertaining and like, it's so cool because you get to see like other people's opinions on it and stuff like that. Like I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate from like people for doing it but like also, like do I care? Yes, I don't know why I'm lying. But yeah. Now I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in like the lightest shade. 
it's just called light one i think it's like chantilly or something like that but i can't really see and i now know why you do the big triangles it's to make it look more natural so i do these huge triangles under my eyes you probably can't see because it's pretty high exposure but maybe you can but i just do these triangles under my eyes i really hope this is in focus because i'm going to be so pissed off if it's not but it looks like perfect to me so fingers crossed i can't believe i've lost my remote again like i only lost it like a few days ago so annoying but yeah i just do like what everybody else does i don't really want to make my forehead look bigger so i just do like a little teeny triangle like this um and that's what that looks like so i'm just gonna tap 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 on my chin on my cupid's bow down the bridge of my nose on my forehead and i will cover up these spots just with like a normal shade of concealer because this one is too light for me um and then i just blend these huge big ass triangles in under my eyes like i have like wrinkles under my eyes like before i even put concealer on so like i i always get creases just because i'm wrinkly because i'm literally 90 years old i don't know why like i have these creases like i'm pretty sure they're called laugh lines but like i'm not a happy person so like what the fuck <laughs> like i laugh a lot but i'm not like smiling all the time like i literally only smile for pictures like i have a resting bitch face like if you look at me i'll be looking at you like like i'll probably be thinking like oh my god her hair looks so good or like his shoes are fucking cute but like my face is it, I just look like a murderer, like I don't know why but I just have like this satanic glare when I'm not talking and then like I, I guess I do smile a lot because when I talk I'm like a really like sad person <laughs> like this is such a sad video but like I'm a pretty sad person so I really overcompensate when I'm talking to people like when I'm talking to people I'm like oh my god yes like that is so cool like and inside I'm just like die I want to die you know what I mean <laughs> like yeah I really overcompensate when I talk to people because I don't want them to know the thoughts in my head also I think I'm gonna start doing like live streams on YouTube um or on you now more often because I like watching live streams I feel like they're really entertaining it's just like raw footage like if I fuck up like you still get to see with YouTube you don't really get to see but with this video you probably will because I'm not gonna like edit it too much because like it's just a makeup routine why do I have like I have like a little like bit of dry skin on my forehead but I usually have like just like normal skin I don't have a skin type I don't think little thing I like to do just gonna blend this in if you want to like look a little bit older like I like to look older because people treat you better when you're older um so make your face look a little bit older contour further in towards your mouth so like with like a teeny little brush tap off the excess don't have like harsh line but just like right in there right in there you want that like skeleton face that like dead vibe now for highlight I do my makeup in a weird order I guess like I do all of my face and then I go on to like brows and shit so, so I'm using Crushed Pearl. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to use like the excess on the top of the palette. If you have like one of these like glow kit things, you know there's like so much excess on the top. Like my brush is white, so I'm just like rubbing it around up here. So, I like the nose. Having a shiny nose is literally my favorite thing. I just love it. It makes me feel so angelic when in reality I probably just look sweaty. Oh my god. I actually look like a pixie or something. I feel it. I like it. I'm a fan. I'm using this lip liner. It is from Rimmel in Tiramisu. This is my exact, exact lip color, so. Okay, so my lips look more existent now. I don't really like heavily overline my lips because I think that looks really stupid when they've got like that big like bump and you can clearly tell it's not their lip. Like no offense if you do that, I just think it looks ridiculous. Um, you do you though. I just personally 
wouldn't do it. I just think it looks silly. Like, I know that's not your lip. Just get, like, lip injections. Like, I don't care. Your life. So I use the Anastasia, Anastasia. I don't know how to say it, because I say it different to how everybody else says it. Like, I say Anastasia, Anastasia, like, Anastasia. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. But yeah. Brow Wiz, and just fill in my eyebrows. Also, my brows tell by my hair, I really need to dye my roots. I'm not a natural brunette, even though I look like I am. Um, blonde did not suit me. I always get so many questions like, would you go back blonde? Like, I really want to see you blonde. Like, I would never, ever go back blonde. If you guys want me to do like a, um, what's it called? Like a reacting to like old pictures or something. Um, uh, maybe I'll do that. Like, eyebrows make such a difference to a face. But yeah, let me know if you want me to do that in the comments. <coughs> so guys, quick question. Who are your favourite YouTubers at the moment? Like, who are you loving? For me personally, I am loving Olivia Jade. You guys might know who she is. Her mom is, like, famous or something, but I have no idea who her mom is. Um, but, like, every time I go on her, like, videos... All the comments are like, oh my god, are you blah blah blah's daughter? And I'm just like, who the fuck is that? And everyone's like, oh my god, your mom's famous, that's why you're so rich, blah blah. It's like, what the fuck are you on about? Like, what are you on about? Like, I really like her. She, like, is so down to earth. Like, I feel like there's such a stereotype for, like, celebrities' children that they're, like, really stuck up and, like, arsy little bastards. But, like, from watching her videos... She seems, like, just genuine. Like, I'm pretty sure she buys, like, all of her stuff with her own money, which is, like, to me, I think that's so great. You can tell she's been raised by, like, a really good, really good parents. The way she's, like, um, so down to earth and she's not, like, full-headed, big-headed. Full-headed, what am I on about? Like, big-headed, like, yeah, I, like, I think she's really nice and really genuine. Uh, she seems like a really great person, so... You should definitely go subscribe to her if you're not already. I mean, you probably are. She has like almost a million, I think. Um, but I just love her. I also like Kelsey. I know loads of you guys probably watch Kelsey. This is a good day for eyebrows. You know what? I wasn't gonna do my makeup today, but it's going really well, so I'm really happy that I did. So for eyeshadow, honestly, I keep it pretty simple. Um, I use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I just go into like the shimmery colors, Marzi Pan and Creme Brulee, and I just like sweep it across my lid. Like I don't pack it on or anything. Like I literally just like probably like two sweeps across. You can see what I'm doing, just like that. So my lids are like a little bit shimmery. Then I go in with this like fluffy brush that I used to do like the contour in here and I go in with milk chocolate and semi sweet and just apply that to the crease and just like blend it out. <coughs> Nothing like too dramatic like I swear people think I wear like so much makeup but in reality I don't wear that much. God I need to like my eyelashes are like so fucked up. Also, I have eyelash extensions. I get so many questions on, like, morning routines. Like, why do you sleep in makeup? Like, ugh. Like, I don't sleep in makeup. So many people are, like, so persistent that I wear, um, like, foundation and stuff to bed. Like, I don't, I don't do that. Thank you for thinking my skin looks that good. I don't know, like, why you would think that because my skin isn't good. Like, I have, like, blemishes and stuff like that that you can, like, clearly see when I have no makeup on. So I don't really know why people are like so adamant that I wear makeup in like my morning routine videos because like I swear to you, I do not like, yeah I have like eyelash extensions on but like I cannot take those off so a little bit of a task. Now I'm going to go in with this brush, actually do I have a better brush in? So I'm going to use that brush and just the leftovers I'm going to go underneath my eye wiggle it around a little bit now for mascara here it is i use this one from pixie not sponsored i know they work with a lot of youtubers but this isn't sponsored it was like it was sent to me but i don't think it was from pixie i think it was like a makeup company but i just put some mascara on my lower lashes i do put a little bit like on the tips of these lashes like if i'm honest with you like i do put like a teeny bit uh, I really need to sort them out. They look awful right now. But yeah, just a little bit on the top. 
like docking them up and all that jazz. Cool. But it mainly goes on like the bottom of my lashes. Just like so. I don't know what to do when they're like doing the mascara. Like I cannot help it. Like my face is just like I look like some sort of like creature. I literally thought that I just got mascara on my nose and I was about to scream, but it's all good. It's all good. I always like thoroughly wipe the tip of my mascara brush because I am so so clumsy. And if I got mascara on my nose, I'd probably, like, punch someone. I do like to just check on my upper lashes because I have blonde eyelashes, obviously, because I have blonde hair. And I just kind of go over any blonde eyelashes that are, like, peeking through because I do that. Blonde hair is, like, a tricky little fucker. Like, it'll just, like, no, I'm still here. But now on to eyeliner. Woohoo! So, I use two eyeliners. The Kat Von D tattoo liner is so good. This was sent to me. I had two sent to me, like the little travel sizes. I don't think it was from Kat Von D, but maybe it was. I don't know. Thank you to whoever sent it to me though. And I do like the flick with this one, and then I fill it in with another one. So let's do it. Okay, there's one flick. There's another bang. There we go. And now I'm gonna use the collection liner because this has like a thicker tip, so it's way easier to like fill the black in because it's so hard with the Kat Von D one because it's so skinny. But like, it's really good for me. Like, it lasts all day. It's just like takes so long to like fill in the gap. You know what I mean? So yeah. And then it goes. I used to hate felt tip eyeliner. Like, I literally used to, like, hate it with a passion. Like, if I ever saw someone using, like, felt tip liner, like, one of my friends, I'd literally explain to them why they made, like, such a bad life choice. I don't know why it annoyed me so much. But there's one eye. Let's do the next eye. Why is my camera battery charge like flashing? Because it was on charge like all of last night. Like it was on charge for like a solid eight hours and it's run out of battery. Have I been filming for that long? It does take me ages to do my makeup when I'm filming it, to be fair. That's a little bit ridiculous. Okay, hold on. I think that is it. I think I'm happy with that. I'm good with that actually. It looks pretty good from where I can see. Um, okay, now for lipstick, last part. This is the L'Oreal Paris lipstick in 630. This is like my lip color, but like creamy. Obviously my lips are matte because they're just lips. I'm just gonna get any like makeup off my lips, but I just like. Okay. And now I'm going to apply. There we go. We are done. Do you like it? Did you enjoy? Was this pleasing for you to watch? Did you get some makeup inspo? Did it make you feel better about your makeup skills? Because honestly, I don't have that many. What have I just done? But yeah, I like it. It's going to like pretend that I am like cute, but like not really. I need to fix my hair. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try and link all these products below. Actually, you know what? It's already there. I've started linking like my everyday makeup products in my description, so if you're ever wondering what's on my face, it's down there. Oh, and also, this. Hold up. Urban Decay Setting Spray. Your makeup won't leave your face for like a solid year, so. Yeah, I hope you guys like this. I hope it was like a little bit entertaining. And I hope you just thought it was really chill. Like, just like watched it while you like did your own makeup or something. I don't know, that's cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, you know, you know, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm sure you guys have already heard the entire spiel before, but I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you 
next Sunday with a new video. So, bye! I love you. Peace. Au revoir. TTYL. I actually hate myself. I'll see you soon. Bye.